As part of my population health assessment of Sentinel City, today I'm discussing the various forms of communication that can be seen around the city. To start off, there are numerous bulletin boards and advertisements and billboards that can be easily seen throughout the city while taking the bus tour. Some of the billboards included safety reminders, such as don't text and drive, and it can wait, reminders to get vaccinated for the flu season, advertisements for agencies that offer help for those struggling with addiction or those who are facing an unplanned pregnancy, and also billboards reminding citizens to vote, recycle, and encouragements to quit smoking. There were residents seen reading newspapers while sitting or walking outside, although there was no mention of a specific city newspaper, and community bulletin boards were not noted anywhere around the city. As for a specific party affiliation, even in speaking with citizens, one being a district representative, and visiting City Hall, I could not find any introduction of political party affiliations anywhere. There are some displays about life in the community strewn about, including public transportation maps at all the city's bus stops. Different forms of formal and informal communication could be seen in multiple locations throughout the city. Informal communication is more through the grapevine type communication, and that was noticeable among the groups of people congregated in front of businesses and chatting with each other on the sidewalks throughout the city. Formal communication is more structured. An example of this is that Mayor Hill provides that if citizens have a complaint to be heard, they can file it with the Customer Protection Division at City Hall, and they will receive a written notice that it has been received. Avenues of mass communication within the city include the radio station Radio Buzz 96.5, I found it interesting to note that the radio station plays public service announcements to the community. And while 50% of what is heard on the radio is music, another 11% of the station's broadcast is news, and 39% is advertising. Also related to mass communication, Mayor Hill notes that City Hall is in the process of putting together a City Council newsletter that will be sent out quarterly to all residents. Other observations not listed that I noted were the group of protesters outside City Hall. That in itself is a demonstration of a completely different type of communication, but communication nonetheless. And lastly, the agenda and meeting minutes from City Hall are available to all residents who wish to view them. In the case scenario, Sentinel City experiences an outbreak of E. coli. I developed a billboard displayed here to educate the public about the causes, symptoms, and prevention of the illness. Freemuth, Linen, and Potter, in an article for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, state that even the best crafted message is useless if it fails to reach the intended audience. Mass media outlets, such as billboards, provide good opportunities to get messages out to a large group of people across all demographic groups. Sentinel City has such a mixed population and very diverse neighborhoods that I believe a billboard would be most effective in informing the city's residents about this health issue. Health literacy will differ greatly between the city's neighborhoods, and some forms of communication, such as radio advertisements, social media, or newspapers, may not be as easily accessible to some people. The elderly or disabled may not be able to leave their houses to view a poster that is posted somewhere in the city, while children, teens, and young adults are probably not likely to pick up a newspaper or to listen to the radio to get their media information. However, billboards, as stated earlier, are abundant across Sentinel City and are found in every neighborhood. They can be seen easily in a car or while walking on the sidewalk or riding a bike, or even from the windows of the many apartment buildings in every part of the city. Every resident of the city should have effortless access to viewing a billboard with health information, no matter their age, socioeconomic status, or transportation limitations.